the building but not the victims, claiming that the cleaners had already taken care of everything when he passed by. When Max sits at the computer, he recognizes the Elvis bobblehead in the sketchbook. It turns out he's been here before and thinks Vax 7 was very unstable. Someone shows him the recording of the creature behind him, but Max says it's just someone himself because of a system glitch that overlaps images. Next Mac checks the system and notices that the cameras in the defense ring are down, which doesn't make sense because someone just recharged them. They proceed to do a system check and while they work, Doc climbs on the desk. When Max sees it, he shoves it away and sends it flying. An upset someone rushes after it and talks to it until Doc opens its eyes to prove it's still alive while Mac judges him for it, saying he's as crazy as Vax 7. Someone is so furious that he aims his gun at Mac and asks him to unlock the archive video recordings, which is against the rules. Mac refuses because he doesn't believe that someone will dare to kill him, but someone proves him wrong by hitting him twice. Truly scared now, Mac apologizes to Doc and tries to access the archive, successfully bypassing the firewall. However they'll still need two personal codes to access it, it's a leftover from the days when there were six guards per outpost. Someone still refuses to let him go so Mac stabs him with a screwdriver and a fight ensues. Even if he's hurt, someone quickly overpowers Mac, however Mac retaliates by hitting someone on his wound. Someone wastes no time in starting choking Mac by pressing on his breathing device, but he pulls back when he notices his eye going red. While someone retrieves his gun, Mac shares his experience with the aliens when he was a soldier many years ago. His team's helicopter crashed in the desert, and only he and one more soldier survived. Mac went looking for help, and when he came back, his partner was missing both ears. Later when a sandstorm hit them, he finally saw the shadows of the nunsuch hiding in the storm, and they quickly killed his teammate. Their screaming also caused Mac's ears to start bleeding and his body felt unbearable pain, making him realize that his friend got rid of his own ears to make it stop. When rescuers finally found Mac, his lungs were full of sand and his larynx heavily damaged, this is why he must wear the device to breathe now. In case he needs him again later, someone decides to lock up Mac in the bunker. Then he takes care of his wounds and gets some medicine before sending his report, pretending everything is fine. When the commander asks about Mac, someone says he already fixed everything and left. Afterward, he finally gets in contact with Kerr 4 and gets his code so he can access the archive. Someone finds the old videos and watches Vax 7 start well with his job, going through the routine and befriending Doc. However Vax 7 slowly started to lose his mind and greatly damaged the computers, which explains the power failures. Someone calls Kerr 4 to tell him what he's seen and shares his theory, he thinks the nunsuch don't exist. Nobody ever actually saw the aliens or the bodies they supposedly mutilated, so he believes the government made them up to send people into ex-